So we have to figure out the soil size. So what you want to do is that it's either going to be three and one eighths or it's three and seven eighths. So I would just do a three inch pot or a four inch pot and that's good enough to go. So this is a four inch one. So what we want to do is that we want to create the, the um, soils and the two different sizes depending on the size of the pot of course will just sit inside just like you see here. So it's gonna sit inside okay and there's a top to the soil so you're gonna stuff this. So what I'm gonna recommend that you do is that do not sew the topping, the top of the stuffing to the base after it's stuffed until you actually sew the plant on first and then sew it down on with the stuffing. Therefore you can reach underneath and just do all the whip stitching that you need to do in order to attach your plant. So there are two different sizes listed in the pattern for the soil. So I'm going to start with the smallest size first and then we're going to then cover the large size. So you can fast forward if you wish if you would like to work on the different sizes. So without further ado let's work on our soil. So let's begin. We're going to work on the bottom of the soil and the bottom of the soil looks like a bowl shape and then the top of the soil looks like a disc that will just be sewn on and it's slightly smaller. So once this is stuffed it will sit inside so it doesn't go all the way to the base of the of the pot. So it just stays on the top and then because it's gonna be wedged in it'll hold the plant upright. So our goal today is to be able to make the top and the, and the bottom. So this is the larger size. So the, uh, the smaller size will be slightly smaller but it's kind of the similar instruction and then we'll do the top disc. So let's grab our Lily Sugar and Cream Warm Brown is our color in a four millimeter size G6 crochet hook in order to play. So let's work on the smaller soil. So let's create a slip knot to begin and we're going to do a chain two. So once it's on the hook just chain two for me. So one and two and let's start round number one. So in the second chain from the hook, the beginning chain, you want to place in eight single crochets into that chain. So just going in, pulling through and then pull through the two. So that's a single crochet. So do that eight times. So this is one, this is two it, and it's going into the same stitch by the way or same chain. This is gonna be three and I'm going right up over top of that straggler so it catches it underneath as well. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you may end up with a small hole at the top of your soil but you got plants sitting on top of this thing anyway so I won't worry about it. So you have to slip stitch to the first one of the eight. If you're not sure just count it back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So just go into the eighth one and just go in, pull through and through and that'll close off your starting circle. So now that I've gone and I've buried this straggler as I went, what I want to do is just trim that out of the way and move on to round number two. So let's do that next. Let's begin round number two. You're gonna chain up one and place in two single crochets into each one of the stitches going all the way around. So one and two and then move to the next one. One and two and next one. One and two. So you will have eight groups of two basically because you had eight stitches in the last round. So these are gonna go pretty quickly the soils in order to to make these. So just two single crochets in each and then I'll see you at the end of this round. So I'm coming into the last one and I can tell it's the last one but you're thinking to yourself well there's another stitch he's missing. I'm not missing that one. That one is part of the first one and if you're not sure just count back the groups of eight uh, to eight. So you got one group, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. This here is stretching into the first one therefore that's not a stitch. So that's where a lot of people go wrong when they start doing hats for the first time or round circles. So just slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet and you see I just pulled it nice and snug. So moving on to round number three. You're going to chain up one and put one single crochet in the first one and then the next one is gonna have two single crochets. So, so one and two and then the next one is one by itself and then the next one has two into the same one. So I want you to do that same pattern going all the way around. So it's either one in the first and then two in the next, one in the first, two in the next. Do that all the way around. So coming all the way around the last one should have two single crochets into it. I'm not doing anything special to make that happen. I'm just following it as in one in the first, two in the next and the last one should be two and then just uh, slip stitch it to the top of the first single crochet to finish that off. So moving on to round number four chain up one and the first two are gonna be by themselves. So just go in the first one single crochet, move to the second one. It's a single crochet by itself and then the next one after that has two single crochets into the same one. So one and two. 
So then that's the repeat pattern. So there's gonna be two by themselves. So one and two and then the next one has two into the same one. Please do that all the way around for this round. So I'm coming all the way back around. The last one will have two single crochets in again and again that's not doing anything special. It's just following the count and you're going to slip stitch it to the top. So in the pattern you're going to now fast forward and just go down the instructions and it says both sizes next round. That's where you wanna pick up. So what we want to do is that we wanna create the bend at the base of the soil so that it will fit into the pot nicely. So we're gonna chain up one and into the back loop only. So if you look at the stitches there's always two strands. The first strand is the front loop. The second one that's furthest from you is called the back loop. So what, now that I've chained one I wanna sneak in behind and I wanna get the back loop only and I want a single crochet. So I'm gonna go one single crochet in the back loop into each of the stitches going all the way around. So do that back loop single crochet all the way around and I'll see you at the end of this round. So I'm coming into my very last one still doing the back loop single crochet and I wanna join to the regular stitching of the first one. So the next two rounds are all we need to do now is just chain up one and going back into the regular stitch I want you to single crochet into each. So what I want you to do is this round and then just slip stitch to the top of the first beginning uh, single crochet, chain one and then do another round of single crochet around and then you're gonna fasten off and this is the base of your small soil. So please do this round and next and then fasten off and then I'll see you at the end of that and then we'll just quickly review and then what we'll do is that we'll then go to the top of the small soil to next so that you have a complete set. So I've done my two rounds of single crochet and that's it. So what I wanna do is leave an extra long tail on here so that I can use that to sew around the top if, when I put the stuffing in later. But I'm not gonna, I don't have any top to put on right now. So what I have to do is that I have to go back in the pattern and create the top. So what we're going to do is create the top and then we're going to stop at a certain level. So we're gonna do almost exactly what you've just done now but except for you're not going to do anything beyond uh, making the turn in order to do the, the, the soil. So without further ado let's begin again and let's get your top done. So let's work on the smaller soil. So let's create a slip knot to begin and we're going to do a chain two. So once it's on the hook just chain two for me. So one and two and let's start round number one. So in the second chain from the hook, the beginning chain, you want to place in eight single crochets into that chain. So just going in, pulling through and then pull through the two. So that's a single crochet. So do that eight times. So this is one, this is two it, and it's going into the same stitch by the way or same chain. This is gonna be three and I'm going right up over top of that straggler so it catches it underneath as well. Four, five, six, seven, and eight and you may end up with a small hole at the top of your soil but you got plants sitting on top of this thing anyway so I won't worry about it. So you have to slip stitch to the first one of the eight. If you're not sure just count it back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So just go into the eighth one and just go in, pull through and through and that will close off your starting circle. So now that I've gone and I've buried this straggler as I went what I want to do is just trim that out of the way and move on to round number two. So let's do that next. Let's begin round number two. You're gonna chain up one and place in two single crochets into each one of the stitches going all the way around. So one and two and then move to the next one. One and two and next one. One and two. So you will have eight groups of two basically because you had eight stitches in the last round. So these are gonna go pretty quickly the soils in order to, to make these. So just two single crochets in each and then I'll see you at the end of this round. So I'm coming into the last one and I can tell it's the last one but you're thinking to yourself well there's another stitch he's missing. I'm not missing that one. That one is part of the first one and if you're not sure just count back the groups of eight uh, to eight. So you got one group, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. This here is stretching into the first one therefore that's not a stitch. So that's where a lot of people go wrong when they start doing hats for the first time or round circles. So just slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet and you see it just pulled it nice and snug. So moving on to round number three. You're going to chain up one and put one single crochet in the first one and then the next one is gonna have two single crochets. So, so one and two and then the next one is one by itself 
and then the next one has two into the same one. So I want you to do that same pattern going all the way around. So it's either one in the first and then two in the next, one in the first, two in the next. Do that all the way around. So coming all the way around the last one should have two single crochets into it. I'm not doing anything special to make that happen. I'm just following it as in one in the first, two in the next and the last one should be two. And then just uh, slip stitch it to the top of the first single crochet to finish that off. So moving on to round number four. Chain up one and the first two are gonna be by themselves. So just go in the first one single crochet, move to the second one. It's a single crochet by itself and then the next one after that has two single crochets into the same one. So one and two. So then that's the repeat pattern. So there's gonna be two by themselves. So one and two and then the next one has two into the same one. Please do that all the way around for this round. So I'm coming around my last round here and we're just putting in two at the very end. No special tricks here. It's just following the pattern and you're going to slip stitch and just join to the top. So this is the top of the soil. Leave an extra long tail right at this point and you can use that for sewing. I left on long tails on both sides just in case one is more convenient than the other. Again it's only a few feet of yarn or a couple of feet of yarn. It's no big deal. So what you can do is that now you can move on to your plant if you wish but now you have your bottom soil and now you have your top and then all you can just do is then stuff it and then it just sits together just like you see here. But I would sew on your plant first before doing the bottom section and then you're good to go. So you can move on and whip stitch across. So you're going to just have to eye this up and make it sure it looks equal. So what I would do if you were me and I were you, so I'm just using that and I'm just whip stitching, is that I would go about halfway. So look across the road and then just use another strand that's a different color and this is about the halfway point over here and this will give you an indication of where you should be on the big and the little one when you mark it with a stitch marker. So you, uh, this will prevent you from just uh, favoring one side too much so that you don't end up with an unequal amount of yarn or sorry unequal amount of space. You can also do in the quarters if you want to as well. So what you wanna do is you want to at least halfway around maybe if not three quarters and you're just gonna whip stitch yourself just using the stitch work. Just use one strand on each side and just going across. And then to advance so you could advance to the next one in the bottom but just go into the same one at the top and that will allow you to advance on the bottom without having to circle around the top at the same time so that it, it allows you to be able to bunch your stitches pretty seamlessly. So I'm gonna go into the next one and then I'm gonna go into the next one at the bottom but then the same one I was just in. And you'll get the hang of that. So then you can see that you're attaching things together and the goal is, is then to seal this up and then I'll see you back here in just a moment when we're ready to start stuffing. So I'm back. I've gone a little bit more than halfway. I still have a pocket here. So what I want to do is I want to generously stuff the soil and you want it so that it's enough so that when it sits in the, the, um, in the pot that it's got enough flexibility to it so it can take the shape but it's not um, too crazy and not stuffed enough so that it will fall over. So keep stuffing that till you think that's enough and then continue to sew it shut and then meet back here in just a moment.